my mic wasn't on for like a good 30 minutes. Okay, third take. Hopefully it's not terrible. Some good lemonade. <coughs> so, this song is uh, dedicated to uh, my good friend Joseph. Anyways, hello, hi, welcome. The setup's a little bit different today, and there's a good reason on that. These past couple weeks, I went to a pumpkin patch, celebrated Joseph's birthday, and I had some pretty decent footage. However, one thing happened, and uh, my second camera, which is a GoPro, the GoPro died. Corrupted all of my files, I had to send it out, so I have a lot of missing footage, and I can't piece together a story, and obviously I can't go back and reshoot those things. So yeah, I don't have footage to make a video, and uh, I think that's it. No, I'm kidding, of course. And that's why I hesitated so long to even make a video because I was just thinking, well, what am I gonna do? Do I scrap this project? Do I not make a video about Joseph's birthday? But I love Joseph. It was your special day and I wanted to tell people about your special day. One night when I couldn't sleep, a thought occurred to me, why don't I just do a story time uh, and just explain what happened? So yes, I'm gonna tell the story of Joseph's birthday. This video is gonna be all about Joseph's special day. However, as some of you may not know, I am probably the worst storyteller because so much things happen up here that I have a hard time filtering out my mouth. I don't know if it's anxiety or what, but I feel like I have to share what's up in here as quickly as I can and that causes me to rush, lose details, and I just overthink and everything just goes to shit. But I have a very good solution for this problem. I have Tim's handmade water. Definitely not alcohol. It's water. See? Water. <laughs> what the f am I doing? This is for Joseph. This is so stupid. Uh, so, uh, to you, Joseph, happy birthday. Oh, that's some, that's some spicy water. So Joseph, right? Who is Joseph as a person? I would like to think that Joseph is a sweet Jinkies! Jinx! <laughs> caring Get the f*** out of my face Thoughtful Happy birthday, Kiyom And a beautiful individual <laughs> I'm a fish! <laughs> He brings so much to our friend group. Without him, there's like a missing aura or atmosphere if he's not there. Does that make sense? I'm gonna need another drink of Tito's water. I mean, Tim's water. <laughs> and previously, in our birthdays anyways, Kwai Lee and myself, he would always try to plan these surprise parties and he wants to spread love and joy as he always does. I don't see them as kids because I drink a lot with them. Uh, yeah, you're right. I just realized that I've been looking at this monitor the whole time, but I should be looking at the camera. All right, I'm gonna try to focus on looking at this. Let's let's not look over there. Look, look, look in front of the camera. You're talking to the camera. Okay. So yeah, he's had a history of surprises and birthdays, and I figured why not go all out and surprise him. Go all out and surprise him in the best way that I can. Obviously, He's not stupid. Jinker Winkler shit in my timbers! <laughs> so he kind of knows when, you know, your friends are BSing you and stuff like that. But I try my best. I try my best to surprise him. So what did I do for Joseph's birthday? It's 9 a.m., the day of Joseph's birthday. <laughs> my brother and a couple of our friends drove to his house to surprise him in the morning. All right, here we go. Is it locked? All right. Surprise! Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out, get out! Oh my god, this is amazing, but get out! Meanwhile, I was at the airport. I figured I'd try to fool him by saying, Hey, I'm going to Boston for your birthday, like I did last year. Um, which was the real thing. I actually went to Boston during his birthday last year, so I'm sorry, Joseph. At any rate, I figured I'd do it again, try to trick him into it. 
And it was pretty legitimate, all right? Okay, I got him. He was 50-50. You can hear it for himself. You actually did get me. Okay. I bet, I bet you're like 50-50. You're like... Yeah, yeah. I was like, Holy if shit, he actually you're... chose fucking Boston over me, <laughs> I knew a little bit. I, I mean, it's hard to not tell, it right? It is. But you guys did so good. So I surprised him at brunch, right? We have a good time. Good conversations. The waitress was really nice. Good service. Call me Kim Kardashian. And then we go up to his house and we get ready to go to go-karting. And go-karting was pretty interesting. To make a long story short, um, some people are aggressive drivers and some people aren't. Uh, let's just say that the aggressive drivers won. Rest in peace, Guillaume, though, because she, she kind of got whooped around pretty badly. It's all part of the game. Uh, if you can't handle the heat, go home, Guillaume. And then after go-karting, we go to dinner, and dinner was a really swell time. Uh, Kim wasn't feeling really well. At this point in time, she didn't really eat much. So she went to the car and rested, and then we ate as much as we could. Said happy birthday. And then distributed the cake to literally everyone because it was a lot of cake and we couldn't finish, we couldn't finish the cake. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Jen and Ryan, for coming all the way from Oregon to celebrate me and only me, not your mom. And just thank you for guys for giving me the best birthday ever and being my friends and 26 years of friendship. And cheers to America. Trump. Whoa. <laughs> Then we went to the club, Gay 90s, very interesting club. Hold this, th hold that thought. <laughs> One shot and you're already just dying, Chen. You, you lightweight, you f***ing lightweight. Hydrate or die, baby. <clears throat> Wait, I feel like I'm not. I, I need to tell the story better. To friendship. Poison! Poison! You know, the club was interesting. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but with the, the short amount of footage that I got, uh, watch for yourself. How's everybody's experience at the gay 90s? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, was a good time. After the club, we got Taco Bell and then went home and everybody crashed and died. And I slept over to go to church the next day to uh, repent for my sins. I don't know why I thought that this would be a long video or this would be hard to do. You know, it's all about storytelling, and with the footage that I had, it wasn't much to tell the story without missing plot holes, so... Happy birthday, Joseph. It's Libra season. Did you enjoy your time? Hello, are you busy right now? Yeah, Oh, I have a quick question. Okay, ask your quick question. Okay, out of 10, well, uh, could you rate your birthday party one more time? Uh, Oh, uh, for those who aren't asking, what did I do with my old chair? Well, let me show you.
Go ahead. Bro, you're leading a bunch of very sober people to nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> you good, Lee? I'm great. Oh, wait, okay. Right now? now I am. I don't have pants on. <laughs> <laughs>